So uh, before we continue our discussion around the 5G core architecture, uh, let us uh, uh, take a note of some of the noteworthy points uh, regarding the architecture. Uh, so the 5G core architecture is a service-based architecture like we saw uh, in the previous sections. And uh, the service-based architecture um, can be understood in terms of uh, the service producer and a service consumer uh, aspects. So what that really means is uh, you have different network functions. So this can be network function uh, one uh, and this can be network function two as an example. And the network function two is is offering certain services. That is why it's called a producer. And then network function one is a consumer of the service and therefore it is referred to as the consumer. So every network function that we saw in the uh, previous sections in terms of that architecture, uh, each network function provides certain services. So it is a service producer in that aspect. And also it relies on services that it uses from other producers. So it is a service consumer in that aspect. So you will see the terms uh, consumer and producer uh, referred to um, quite extensively in literature. Uh, so please make sure you uh, follow the, uh, the line of thinking here. Uh, we saw there are two ways of representing the architecture, the SBA, service-based architecture, and the point-to-point -point interface based. Uh, they are essentially the same thing, uh, but just two different ways of looking at the architecture uh, like we saw before. All interactions among network services are based on HTTP uh, RESTful APIs. So if you recall in the network functions uh, within the core, uh, all these uh, network uh, functions are connected to a common communication channel and they can interact with each other using um, APIs. Uh, this is different from uh, the legacy systems where the network functions interacted e with each other using point-to-point, -point, uh, strictly point-to-point -point interfaces and protocols. Uh, both these architecture representations look complex at first, but over time, uh, all the elements will make more sense. Um, uh, I strongly advise that you use both architecture uh, diagrams as reference as you go through the course. And if you have a, any doubts regarding uh, the architecture representation, uh, please uh, feel free to pause, listen to the videos again, and uh, uh, I'm hoping uh, the, um, the functionality will become more clear. Uh, all, as always, you can post a question uh, and I'll try to answer it as soon as possible.